There's Mount Buffalo straight through there. Beautiful. I love our high country. Righto, in there. Kikas 100 is 100. That's a start. I found a fish. Didn't like the look of that grasshopper fly though. But at least I've found one. That's a start. I'm fishing in a totally different water by here. A creek I haven't fished in for quite a long time. Rightio. I lost the grasshopper. I don't even know how. I'm a little grasshopper pattern. I caught one of these shrubs over here and <laughs> for the time I untangled it the fly was gone. I don't even know what happened. But anyway, it had a couple of looks but no takes. So what I've done, I've gone to my favourite, the Royal Stimulator with a little nymph underneath because I'm using a really small Royal, royal Stimulator and because it's only small it's likely to not float as good once it gets wet so I'm just putting a little bit of fat on it I'm going to put a bit on the fly and a bit on the line and just grease the line for the last 20 centimeters or so up to the fly this is Loon, Loon Outdoors Aquil there you go got him on the stimulator. He went straight past the nymph and straight for the stimulator. <laughs> I love it. It's a rainbow, is it? No, no, it's a brownie. Oh, and there he goes, as I was lifting him out of the water. And I don't mind when that happens. If I didn't want that to happen, I'd use a net to land them. As far as I'm concerned, that, I'm concerned, that trout is as good as caught. And I am wrapped that he took the stimulator because that tells me that maybe I'm using the right fly. I'm a little bit disappointed because I've just had a camera malfunction. Ah <laughs> oh, shit. Now I've had a casting malfunction. Casting's always hard in these little creeks. Right, I'm a little bit disappointed after a bit of a camera malfunction there a few moments ago. I just caught a quite a nice little brown trout on a nymph, on the nymph, but I didn't realise my camera wasn't recording and after I caught it I pushed the stop button which is the same as the start button and all it did was turn the camera on <laughs> so I was not filming the whole time I hate that oh, take it Got the little one. There was two there. <laughs> there was two trout there then. A big one and a little one. And I've got the little one here on the stimulator. <laughs> I've got him on both. I don't know how I managed that. He was actually hooked with both flies. But I wanted to get him back in the water as quickly as I could because I want to see if that big one's still there. Because there was a larger one there about twice the size of that. But I'd say I've probably spooked him. I don't know how that happened. He, had this, he honestly had the stimulator and the nymph in his mouth. I bet I couldn't do that again if I tried. So I better cast. I've got no idea how I managed that. <laughs> got him. Oh, there's the bigger one. He came back. The bigger one came back and he took the nymph. He wasn't interested in the stimulator. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here. Wet me hand. Wet me hand. Whoops. He's not a real big fish. So why do you see the colours on this trout? Come here, mate. Come here. Have a look at those beautiful colours on that brown trout. Isn't that just amazing? Absolutely beautiful. On the gold bead-headed nymph. A glorious fish. See, you, mate. Got him <laughs> on the nymph again. Gee, he's going mad. He's only a little fish, but he's putting on a bloody song and dance. On the nymph. Come here, buddy. Right, I've wet my hand. See, nice and wet. 
Hopefully it's all growl and grumble. Dude, these fish have got beautiful colourings out of this small creek. I haven't fished this creek for quite a while. In fact, I think it's the first time I've fished it this season. I used to catch a lot of trout in this creek back in the 1990s and 1980s. It's good to see that after all these years, that it's still got good numbers of trout in it. Yeah, I know. Got him. Yeah, baby. I pulled him out on the nymph from under there. He was sitting right up in the shade under that log. Once again, another beautifully coloured mountain trout. Small stream brown trout. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Sit still. Sit still. Sit still. Could get off at any second, but that's okay. So he's me having to stick my mouth, fingers in his mouth. Right, eh? On the nymph. They're loving this nymph at the moment. There you go, buddy. Off he goes. Look at that. <laughs> They're loving this nymph. It's a tiny little black nymph with a silver bead head. A little bit of yellow on the tail and a bit of gray, uh, red, shiny metallic red on top. I'm getting more takes on that than I am the stimulator. Although I have had a few takes on the stimulator as well. Got him. He took a nymph. There you go. Come here, buddy. I was in a world of my own when that fish hit that nymph then. Sam, mate, lovely little brown trout back in the drink. I was in a world all of my own. I can barely see. I've got sweat just running down my glasses. It's not, it's not the hottest day this year. I think it's only about 30 or 32. But the humidity is just stifling. Some of this green grass in the bank of the creek it's still wet from yesterday's rain. I just do not handle the heat. I certainly don't handle this humidity. I'm a real winter person. Far more comfortable in July. <laughs> Pity the fishing site crap then.